Where's Miguel? He's supposed to be coming to basketball practice. Maybe Charity woke up and remembered Miguel, and he's holding her in his arms right now. Maybe I'll... I wonder how Charity's really gonna feel about Miguel when she wakes up. I know how you want her to feel terrified. Yeah. Putting those subliminal messages on that tape was my best idea yet. If that tape I made for Charity works, then she won't want to have anything to do with him. Miguel will be mine. I'm getting worried, Simone. If Miguel doesn't show up soon, then it could mean that tape I made didn't work. Maybe Charity didn't hear those subliminal messages long enough. And I don't mind telling you, Kay. I hope she didn't. Some friend you are. I'm a good friend to you, Kay. But you're not playing fair. Fair schmear. I love Miguel more than she ever could. It makes me sick to think that Charity could be in his arms right now. Look, Kay. Your boyfriend's showing up for you. Miguel? <laughs> Dream on. I was talking about Reese. You should blow him a kiss, Kay. He thinks you're here to watch him. Did the creature say something? The creature knows I'm only interested in one boy. <sighs> Give it up, Kay. Miguel has made it perfectly clear he has no interest in you except as a pal. You don't know anything, so just shut up. I know one thing. You didn't make that music tape to help Charity get her memory back. <sighs> How can you say that? Charity's our cousin. I want her to feel better. You want Miguel for yourself, and you'll do anything to get Charity out of the picture. I bet a year's allowance you're up to something, and I'm gonna find out what it is. I'm getting really worried, Simone. Miguel should have been here by now. Relax, Kay. A lot of things could have happened. Maybe his mother asked him to run an errand or something. Maybe Charity woke up. Maybe Charity woke up and didn't recognize Miguel, and he was too upset to play basketball. Yes, upset. I'll take upset. Then I can help him get over it. That jacket is fabulous. Oh, thank you. It's incredible. Are you a model? Oh, hardly, but thank you. Oh my gosh, you're Sheridan Crane, aren't you? I've seen your picture in magazines. <laughs> yes, I am. I've always thought you were incredible working with Miss Crane. Thanks. Oh, that ring, is that a ruby? Yes, it is. Oh my, it's awesome. God, I bet a ring like that could really get a guy's attention. I suppose so. Wow. Must have cost a fortune. Okay, that's rude. <laughs> that's okay. Actually, it was a gift. A gift? Can you imagine someone just giving you a ring like that? Uh, how can you tell a really good ruby from a really cheap one? Well, the redder the stone, the better. But, of course, the bigger the stone, the more valuable. <laughs> then there are things such as clarity. You look for any flaws, and if there are... All right! There's still a chance that Charity won't know Miguel when she wakes up. Or if your tape works, she won't want anything to do with him. Oh, I hope so. Look at him, Simone. He is so gorgeous. God, I wish I could just grab him and never let go. Miguel, how's Charity? She's still out of it, Jessica. But, but I think she's close to coming, too. I thought I heard her mumbling something earlier. I hope she comes too soon, Miguel. I hope so, too, Miguel. I'd do anything to put a smile back on your face. I know you would, Kay. You're a real pal. Louise, hold on. I want to call the hospital. She already might have woken up. My whole future depends on what happens when Charity wakes up. Whether she recognizes him or not. Okay, sooner or later she will recognize him. Well, I'll take later. Much later. That way I'll have time to convince Miguel that I'm the right girl for him. Well, how's she doing? The nurse said she was still sleeping. Good. The longer she sleeps, the better.